Hello, and welcome back to the captain. I don't really recall where I left off. It was emotionally draining because Jeff's dead. We got Jeff too. Shinier, taller, but not Jeff. Not a funny robot. Uh, Evilton ran away. We have no dromium in here. No fuel cell here. Because we used it to open the gate. 50-50 chance it was Jeff's dromium. It wasn't really separated in the inventory. We could say this is Jeff's heart still. Or maybe Jeff's heart saved us and was dissipated across the cosmos through a wormhole. That that might be the more poetic end to Jeff. Anyway, let's get out of here. Can I call anyone? You're going to just leave Jeff and my contacts to make me sad forever. Yes, Captain. What am I doing? All right. Let's get out of here. Oh, we got a bunch of dead guys. Maybe we could go let these people know they can come out of the closet. Maybe give my robot boy a burial. Hey, Jeff. Uh, don't suppose you'll wake up suddenly? Hmm. Alright, fine. What about this guy? Alright, his head exploded. Hey, cat, wanna come with me and be my new crewmate? I got room for a cat. Alright. Can't pet the cat. Can't recruit the cat. Why even put a cat in the game? Yeah. All right, droid. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. This is very satisfactory to hear. I have a voice for him. I'm done with the robot voice. It's bad enough I gotta do it for ship now. Alright. I presume you're just gonna come with me. I don't have to tell you to follow me. Call for help. R.E.S. No, your name's Jeff, too. Rocket launcher. Rockets. Dromium. Okay, cool. Take a rocket launcher. Stun rockets. I'm a pacifist, I think. And by I, I mean well moo. Welcome back, Captain. Thank you, ship. We no longer need to be docked to the space station. Could you take us out, please? Sure. No problem. Hold on. So... What kind of droid are you? I am an... I am a R.E.S. droid, designed and manufactured by Space Fleet. My main purpose is to supervise the energy levels in a hyper-recoil engine. Do you have a hyper-recoil engine somewhere here? Uh, ship, can you answer that? So, would that function be determined by the head? Not the rest of the body? Certainly, Captain. I am afraid that I'm running a pure magnetic displacement engine in my core. 
I don't have any recoil system installed. Sorry. Thank you, ship. So, I guess that's off the table. Do you have any other functions? I seem to have a small task software stored in my subdrive system. I think it was installed by the engineer who put me together. I put you together. What is it? It's called Barista Java. I guess I can make coffee? Barista Java? Well, we already have a food replicator. The food replicator sucks! Oh. Well, you'll have to start learning our systems now. You can use the workstation on the top floor. Jeff's not going to use it. Come on. I'll show you. Here you go. It's made for a droid about half your height, so you'll have to bend over. You can find all you need here. Report back to me if you have any questions. That is confirmed. I got a question. Do I have to keep calling you white droid? That's a little weird. Jeff too. Which isn't weird. It's going great. I'm focusing on learning everything about your enhanced magnetic displacement engine. Amazing. I mean, I got another guy. I guess I need an engine guy? Alright, let's just pop into the elevator. I wonder if I ever need the bio chair again. I don't see myself jumping into robot bodies multiple times? Like a recurring plot element? Seems more like one of those things you do once in a story and then they never mention it again, even though the chair is right there. Alright, um, where is Goofus? I can't remember his name. Okay, no, I don't have that. Hey, uh, Glacius, have you decided to destroy? Destroy me? No, you're reading a book. You don't want to be disturbed. The detective is just about to reveal who the murderer is. The murderer is going to be you, Glacius, and the victim is going to be me. And the motive is going to be... Well... Justifiable? Somewhat? I don't know. Watch his family be alive somehow. <laughs> Alright, uh, what am I doing? Let's just blast off. Alright. Engage 50 days. Is this how this game works? Ah, that's what we're doing. I bet I could have just jumped in a wormhole and blasted over there. This is probably the dumb way of doing it. But it also means that maybe a lot of people don't do it, so maybe it's something new. Let's find some stuff to do. What are all these red dots? Meanwhile... Back at Space Station Epsilon in the outer regions. Sir! Is it all set? Yes, sir. We're ready to proceed. Before we do, we need to remind ourselves why we came back here. Yes, to locate and secure one of those power cells. Fuel cell, Rob. Fuel cell, Rob. We are absolutely positive there are no fuel cells on this station. Sir, you did the compound scan yourself. Hmm. I don't have to remind you, Rob, how essential one of those fuel cells is to me in my future plans. No, you do not, General. If the station is clean, you go ahead with the operation. Yes, sir. 
Why are we blowing up the spitation again? I can't let this technology continue to develop here and become ordinary. Besides, there was an expiration date on those detonators. I see, not letting anything go to waste, thinking about the environment. The space environment. Oh no! Um... The one guard on board? I... I guess Wilma's not aware of these activities. Limian Trade Atoll. How big is Limian Space? Contact. <laughs> Welcome to my station of trade. Hold on a second, it'll send you our current stock of items. I have zero things. I gotta sell some junk. I mean, I could sell that, but I need that. Dromium. Okay, you sell Dromium for three, buy Dromium for two. Engine upgrade. Ooh. Ooh, an engine upgrade. Ooh, five speed might be real worth it. But I I need something, right? I need batteries to sneak through the border. I don't think I have like 750. Well, I could sell all my guns. Ooh, my ship damaged now. Okay then, have a nice day. All right. What are these red dots? Hostile ships. I don't want to fight any guys. There's nothing in there for me. Pay in trade. Trade information. Oh, I probably really want that engine, don't I? How do you get money. I guess we just keep moving? Well, apparently I was taking a nap. Excuse me, Captain. Yes, ship. Just wanted to inform you that we arrived at our destination. Okay, thank you. You can shut that off, thanks. Alright, into the door. Iglesias, you done with your detective book? Maybe. How's it going? It's going great. That's what you were doing 60 days ago. Iglesias. Hi. Just checking in. Carry on. It's only been a hundred days. Can I get some terrible food? Give me what I need. Of course. I just need to scan your body. Hold on. Scanning. What? But, but no, they are not. Contact. 
a warm and pleasant welcome and visit to Trade and Pay. I am Pam, your automatic and agreeable shop assistant. Let me show you our current stock and tradable palette of goods. Um, I think I looked at this stuff already. I can buy a modulator. An e-capsule converter, what's this do? I don't want to fight anybody. Get me out of here. We need other ways of getting money in this. All right. Okay. What? Okay, there's a space gate. Pirates. Grand Central Junkyard. I had like 200 days to waste, and I just beelined it here, so let's, uh, let's minor detour. Let's see if there's anything here. All right. Contact? Anybody on board? You frag here. I'm Thomas Wilmew, captain of the space fleet vessel Copernicus. The ship's name was Copernicus? Has it always been named that? Yeah, okay. I'm in the middle of something. Did you want anything special? No, not really. What's going on with the planet? Annual mini expo is running. Oh, I see, but. That's not what I meant. The clan the blah, 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 blah. The planet looks damaged. It's not damaged, it's just a bit used. Used. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. You are more than welcome to come down and visit, but I really am busy here. You mentioned an expo. Yeah, the annual mining expo. Is it worth visiting? Well, it's coming to an end. But we still have the Moon Gem Cup left to settle, and there are some minor competitions in progress as well. There's a lot to see down here, and apparently listen to. I really gotta go. If you decide to visit us, we can talk more later. Alright, let's get down there. I could contact him again and get yelled at. Passive-aggressively. Come on, good music. Yeah. Mine Expo. We're going to Mine Con. We've arrived at the ground, Captain. And also, can I go back to the ship? What? No. No, you can't leave now. Why do you want to do that? It's just so dirty and dusty here. We were on the fungus sand planet. Just stay here and wait for me, shuttle. So ladies and gentlemen, may I please have your attention? We are about to start the final fight of the day. I know you people, you fine people, have been waiting for this moment for a long time. Nothing says mining like a fighting competition. But let me tell you, that moment has arrived. Standing on the rock, we have the young and dashing newcomer and equally strong content challenger. Jack the Drill Bit Hamer. Hamer, not hammer. I thought it was hammer. There's only one M. And starting at ground level, the current champion and master of the drill, we have the chiseled veteran 
and well-renowned world record holder of five Golden Rock trophies, none other than Primo the Pixax Pika Fito Fecto Pika Fito Okay, ladies and gentlemen, get ready for the final showdown in the Handheld Harvest Welterweight Class Championship. It's is miner number one ready to drill? Okay, it's a drilling competition slash fight, I guess, unless they're drilling each other. Phrasing. Yes, I am ready. And is miner number two ready to drill? Ready. On your marks. Ready. Go. Bow wow wow wow. Please, not now. Yo. Well, yo to you too. Sorry about him watching this right now. We can chit chat after. Okay, can't talk to them. That makes sense. What are y'all doing here? We are just about to find out who is the best welterweight driller in this quadrant. I guess this is a quadrant. I see. Is this whole expo just for this? Oh no, it's much bigger than that. They arrange competitions for all the major mining classes here. Ah, okay. This Pika Feto guy is unreal. He's been in the standing champion for three years in a row now. Hey, Judge. Are you the manager here? Ah, no, I'm just an amateur mining fanatic. Talk to Frag over the roof down there on your left. He's the coordinator for this event. Okay, thank you. Can I enter it now, even though it's the finals? Guess not. Hey there, stranger. You look lost. Can I help you with anything? I don't know. I just landed here because I got curious about this place. You know. Gotta have something to take my mind off the impending doom of Earth. I don't blame you. I don't think there's a more exciting spot in the universe at this moment. Yeah, mining sure is a uh, exhilarating, ex exhilarating stuff. So, are you here to compete? I'm not sure. I don't know much about mining. Heh, we're all amateurs here. Why not take the opportunity to have some fun? Check the digital board just below me to see if there are any some spots open. It's a pity most competitions are over. The 600 megaton tunneling cup was a nail biter. The worm girls brought it home at last. Go worm girls. Okay, thanks. I could info screen. Digger deck. Quatron chim. Quatro chi pim. Cameron Comstock, John P. Jones, Dig Dug. Gonna play some Dig Dug. Tifty Transbot. Oh, this is a lot of stuff. A lot of funny and interesting names. Oh, I can enter a competition. I guess I'll do that. Next time on The Captain. Bye.